for you last night. It's for you. We could swim in that waterfall. Let's do that. Let's let's swim in it, shall we? And let the water come down over me. <laughs> Who'd you go out with? Oh, who did I go out with? Don't you even know that? I take care of a hundred clients. Do you think I can remember every one of them? I went off with Al Horner. Well, he told me he was single. What do you want? Your money back? We got a no money back policy. I just thought you'd like to know, to protect somebody else. I, I thought maybe you should tell his wife so that she'd know. Listen, you. What are you trying to do? Make trouble. Look, my hands are covered with blood because you lied to me! What did you do? I killed him! What, 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 what do you think I am? Some kind of cheap woman? Some, what do you think I am? I've never been in love before. It's time, and I chose you. Out of a whole constellation of strangers. <laughs> Don't explorers in space have to land somewhere? Sometime. If you can trust me with your love, why not with your name? Suppose I said I was the Queen of Spain. Suppose I said I was the daughter of a lighthouse keeper. Suppose I said that I don't exist. That I'm an illusion. Light that vanishes by morning. Is love dependent on a category? On substance? On reality? It was the first night of my life I ever spent in jail. It wasn't my fault, Lee. It was you set the law down on me, wasn't it? I never did beat you, Nina. Maybe I ought to take up the habit. You start that and I'll kill you. Oh, now, look at here. She's showing signs of life. You've done evil enough to me already, Lee Shockey. I won't stand for anything worse. Is that so? Well, we'll just see about that, yeah? You know, you have a good face, do you know that? A kind face. And you do feel sympathy for me, don't you? In a way, I'm afraid you wouldn't understand. Why, well, you are going to be nice to me, aren't you? I mean, a man like you has got feelings. You know, Sully, I've got a feeling that you're in the wrong profession. 
What? You should be an actress. You know, a girl should never say to a guy, you remind me of another man I know. But you remind me of another man I know. <laughs> Is that a laugh? I don't know. Mm, it's a laugh. He stood me up, you came along. Even your voice sounds a little bit like him when you talk. I hate arguments. Do you hate arguments? I hate arguments. Oh, I hate them. And I've been hating this one all day. This one? This one that I was going to have with Lark Adams, only you showed up instead, so I didn't. Now, if he would just stop showing up altogether, Am I making myself clear? No. I'm glad he didn't show up. Clear enough? some further tests on you, Hildy. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. There's, no I got that. There's no time, Doctor. I can't stay here at Blair. What if it's the money you're worried about? No, no, no. No, I just... I just can't stay here. You have to stay one or two more days until Dr. Kane finishes with you. No. You won't prove anything. Well, I'm not trying to prove anything, Hildy. Or disprove anything. Look, why don't I talk to your husband or your family? No, I have no husband. I have no family. No one at all? No. No. If you want to run your tests until I leave, you may. Perhaps you should know. Know what? That I'm going to die. Oh, your folks seem like very nice. Hold the turkey, isn't it dead yet? I just wanted to talk to you. What are you whispering? Because I don't want them to. It's about my parents. You see, they don't they don't exactly have the greatest sense of humor in the world. Oh, listen, I understand. <laughs> my, my folks are the same way, really. Yeah, well, you see, they're also very conservative. And uh, they're really very concerned about the kind of atmosphere that Tracy's growing up in. Oh, and, I see, and I came in joking around and everything. Well, you should have warned me. Oh, Right. I, I didn't think you'd be meeting them. And I was kind of embarrassed to tell you that uh, my parents think that you and I are... Um, you know, that too. Yeah, especially that. Well, look, sir, don't you worry about a thing. By the time I'm through with your folks, they'll, they'll think this is Sunnybrook Farm and I'm Rebecca. <laughs> I hate to put you on the spot this way. <laughs> think nothing of it. Hey, I got an idea. Yeah, what's that? Well, look, as long as they think that you and I are... Anyway, come on, Rebecca. <laughs> well, forgive me. I'm a little confused. I mean, what are you anyway? A doctor, a lesbian, an actress? Well, then let me enlighten you, doctor. I am a person. I am a woman. I am a psychiatrist. And I am a homosexual. And we are not all the same, any more than heterosexuals are all the same. I am not. I am not 
repelled by the opposite sex. But on a deeper level, any fulfillment comes with other women, that's all. Is that so hard to understand? Rose, about last night, I should never have said anything. Well, you only said what you were feeling. Well, it's just that this last year has been so difficult for me. See, Pat was the person that I planned to spend the rest of my life with. And when she died, I just felt so terribly alone, empty. I, I thought I could never care for anyone again until I met you. I just got very confused. I hope I didn't make you feel uncomfortable. Well, I have to admit, I don't understand these kinds of feelings. But if I did understand, and if I were, you know, like you, I think I'd be very flattered and proud that you thought of me that way. Thank you, Rose. Well, I guess that's all I had to say. <laughs> Except you don't have to go. Unless you think our friendship alone isn't enough. It's enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. I know, I know. I was listening at the door. Oh, and let us not forget the worst kind of all. The guy who lies about being married. Uh-huh. Huh. Tells you he is when he isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's even worse when you know he's married and you don't care. That's what happened to me. Is that why you left Chicago? No, he's right here in Minneapolis. It's Lou. Lou who? It's just that Lou and I have been together a lot lately. Uh, wait, wait, girls. Uh, Lou who? Lou Grant. You know what with uh, meetings and dinners and business lunches? And there's just something about him. Lou? <laughs> so seldom you meet a man like that. The nerve of that guy being so terrific. Oh, just my luck. Having to fall in love with Lou. Lou Grant. <laughs> Nice to finally meet you. And I'm sorry we've kept Lindsay so long. Mother. Oh, no, no, not at all. No, I have always felt that the most important thing in the world is spending time with family. Oh? Are you and your family close? Very close, yes. <laughs> Almost painfully close. Can I offer you anything to eat? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. Let me help you with these dishes. Huh? Oh, no, George, you don't have to. No, I know I don't have to. I want to. <laughs> George? You are such a gentleman. I'd argue if I could, Mrs. Henry. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Like I, uh, I mean, that whole year was just like I was, like I was two people, you know? One was just watching the other one degrade herself. A man that was dangerous and sick, evil. I just got 
couldn't see. What brought you out of it? I saw him kill somebody. So did Terry and Donna. Well, uh, you're going to be safe. Uh, we'll catch you. You'll be out of here tomorrow. Maybe I won't come back. Uh, do you really think that people will forgive me when they start imagining what I've done? Look at you. First you wanted to protect me. Now you want me out of town. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've become an embarrassment. This is ready. Oh, uh, and that's okay. I'm, uh, I, I changed my mind. I, I just, uh, I, I just want to go to bed. <laughs>